Well, I don't really do side work. This is a favor for a co-worker, basically. Uh, anyway, this is a hodgepodge here. These uh, are rails from a canopy bed. Uh, and the tiny the little spot welds they had on there originally uh, broke. Uh, so he brought me another one to line everything up with. So the mounting holes are lined up at this end. None of this is uh, extremely tight tolerances, but I'm using the bigger magnet down here to hold the two tubes parallel. Got that lined up, got it shimmed up and everything. And then I put these down on it as weight uh, so that when when the wire hits, because I'm going to go ahead and MIG weld it. It's uh, 20 thousandths thick. I've got 030 wire in. If I turn it way down, it ought to work. We'll see. I just really didn't feel like uh, firing up the TIG because uh, I'm I, yeah, I'm not really a TIG welder. So, anywho, um, that's what's going on here. So, well, let's see what happens. All right, that's tacked. A little bit more wire. I think I'll uh, flip it over and do the other side. I don't need all of this now that it's. Uh, Got a good tack on it. I didn't want the, the clamp down at the other end to uh, pull things around. How I grounded it was there was a quarter 20 hole in the end here uh, for its mounting. So I put a screw in there to get the ground inside the threads. Um, maybe not great for the threads, but it's a loose fit thread, so it's jammed in there. But that way I didn't have to grind off any uh, uh, powder coating or whatever's on here. Now probably the better thing to do would be to have a bare spot down here and get the ground attached here. You know, one of those uh, those arms that Stacy, or not Stacy, Jody, is always showing on WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. You know, come down with a little silicone bronze ball on the end there. One of those would probably work just fine. Probably better than this, but just have to go with what I got for now. Oh, that's more than beefy enough. 